Just when you think that scissors can't be improved upon, Tim Holtz and Tonic teamed up to bring the Tim Holtz Recoil Scissors. Using recoil scissors helps you to cut easier with far less fatigue. They can be used with a variety of materials, including paper, foil, fabric, and even adhesives. When you get your scissors, you'll have some noticeable differences between Tim Holtz and Tonic scissors in the past. This first set is the Mini Snips. They have a 2 inch titanium blade for your fussy cutting and snipping small details. The larger 9.5 inch scissors also have the titanium blade with the length of 4.3 inches. What you'll notice that's different about these packs is that there is an extra spring included. This additional spring has a stronger tension than what's included with your scissors. Before we get into the technical parts, let's look at the comfort grip of the handles. The small set is an open design and is smooth rubber with some little kickstands at the end so that you don't lose your grip. To use them, you'll want to remove the protective cap and then there's a mechanism that you can move with your thumb and that releases the scissors so they open. The spring keeps the scissors open and with a gentle squeeze, you can close them to do your cutting. To store your scissors, you want to make sure that you lock them first and then you can replace the cap. The 9.5 inch scissors also has a protective cap and a similar mechanism. So with your thumb, you'll want to slide this over to unlock them and slide it back to lock. These larger scissors have that same rubber grip. They have a closed area which fits all of your fingers and an open area for your thumb and hand. And again, the recoil spring opens the scissors and easily closes for cutting. And when you're done, you'll want to slide the lock closed and return the protective cap. Now let's go back to those springs and why you have a choice of two. So the scissors come with a lightweight spring tension. This is a thinner spring and it has less resistance for easier cutting. The springs are super easy to exchange. You can just pull them out from each of the little channels that's molded into each side of the handle. The more resistant spring is built with thicker wire. You can feed the end of the spring into the first channel and then into the second channel on the other side. Now that that's installed, you will have faster and stronger cutting. There's a little bit more resistance and depending on your hand strength, you'll decide which works best for you. And you can change out the spring on your mini snips the same way for additional tension. Next, I want to talk to you about the blades. These are titanium blades, so they won't stick to any of your adhesives, and they have a deep bevel for additional sharpness. This feature is also found on your mini snips. If you're wondering how these are different from Tim Holtz snips in the past, these had a serrated edge where the new snips do not. Your older scissors are more for your crafting with heavy chipboard and even cutting through wire, while these new ones are for smooth cutting and sharpness. And the same goes for the larger scissors. The old ones have serrated and the new ones do not for that extra ease in cutting. The titanium blades are anti-rust and corrosion, and they make it super easy to cut through your adhesives. Watch how this just pops right off those scissors. The 9.5 inch blades makes it really easy to cut lengthwise through your adhesive. This is perfect for shaker cards and sentiment strips. You can cut through your thicker ribbons with either the snips or the larger scissors. And the thinness of the blades of the mini snips makes it really easy to get into tight areas. These are also perfect for doing some fussy cutting. Those thin blades make it really easy to turn corners and to cut right on the line of your images. The larger scissors will probably be your go-to when cutting down foil and even your favorite fabrics without causing any fatigue in your hands. One of the most unique features to these scissors that you can cut with your right hand 
and they can also be used for left-handed users. I hope this information has been helpful. Please give us a thumbs up and click the bell for notifications for more quick tips available. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.